guys. Um, today I want to talk about Erin Marie Gilbert. She is considered endangered missing. She, um, let's see, let me read my little notes here. She was 24 years old. And she was born in 1971. She lived with her sister and her brother-in-law and worked as a nanny in Anchorage, Alaska. And I know I was going to do my little segments on small town crimes, but she disappeared from a small town, so I'm including her in this. Now, she, this is, she, she came up missing in 1995. So, yeah, this is a cold case. Um... Erin Marie Gilbert, let's see if she had any distinguishing marks. She had a tattoo of a, um, a large blue flower on her chest. She had brown hair and she had hazel eyes. Um, she's a pretty girl. Now, she had met this guy the night before she came miss, became missing. She met this guy. She... Um, went to a a um a bar let me see if i can find the name of that bar it's called chill coot charlie's um anyway she met the guy and she decided to have a date with him the next day and go to the gird girdwood forest fair in girdwood Alaska, which I think that's probably about an hour's drive from Anchorage. And her date that she went with, um, a David Combs, they, I suppose they were fixing to leave. Anyway, he told the police that he tried to start his car and he had left the headlights on so then his battery was dead. So he couldn't, he couldn't start his car. His car wouldn't start. So he told Aaron that he was going to walk to a friend's house to get some help. And he left her there with the car. I suppose she was still there at the, uh, at the fair. It's a pretty big event, apparently. Anyway, so he walked, he said, for about two hours, and he couldn't find his friend's home. So he came back to the car, and Aaron was gone. And he, he tried his car again, so he says, and the car started this time. So he was cleared of any foul play, apparently. But he didn't, he didn't notify anybody that she was missing. He didn't say anything to her family until the next morning, about 7 a.m. And he called her sister at her home, and he asked her if Aaron got home all right. And her sister said uh, that when she went to look for her, for Aaron, that she wasn't in a room and she had not came home. So she was very... Um, upset about it because she said that Aaron was very responsible and she would not just leave any place without notifying her or somebody about if she was going to go somewhere else different. So they all went, they got in the car and they went back to Girdwood and they went back to the Girdwood Forest Fair and they got on stage and they announced her disappearance so everybody there at the fair started looking for her, and they could not find her. So then, well, they looked till about 1 a.m. No, he looked till about 1 a.m. that morning. That's what he told cops. But when they went back, they looked all day. And uh, so they didn't find her, so they called the, I think it was the, uh, State Patrol, the Anchorage State Patrol, Alaska State Patrol. Anyway, 
when they came out and they conducted an extensive search for her, they used dogs, they used helicopters, they just could not find her. It's just like she vanished off the face of the earth. And nobody knows anything about her. Nobody knows what happened to her. There's no signs. Nobody's seen anything. Um... This is just a strange case altogether. And so she's been missing since 1995. And there's just no telling. There's no telling what happened to that poor lady. So if you were there on July 1st of 1995 at the Girdwood Forest Fair and you've seen this girl, please. I don't care if you've seen her on a roller coaster. Well, they don't have a roller coaster, but they'll have a Ferris wheel. Like, I don't care if you've seen her on a Ferris wheel or eating cotton candy, talking to somebody. Call the state patrol. Call the Anchorage uh, Police Department. Call the Alaska State Trooper number. Call the number for... Um, um, missing and exploited children. I'll leave that number on there. Call some kind of law enforcement agency. I don't care how small it is. If you remember seeing her, call. Even if it's not her, they can still check it out. And who knows? They might find out what happened to this lady. Um, I just... Uh, I just hate that this has happened to her. Okay, thank you so much for listening.